hi everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel my name is Oma, and i'm glad to have you on my channel today if this is your first time of coming across this channel hello if you've been an old subscriber i truly appreciate you thank you for your support i do not take it for granted okay guys today i've come to teach you something that will benefit you have you been going to your church and they keep telling you you're a big person in the spiritual realm? Have you been going to visit a spiritualist and they keep telling you that you are someone who is crowned in the spiritual realm? But when it comes to the physical, you have nothing. Absolutely nothing. I want to tell you how to bring down the anger of your realms. The anger of your realms. Yes, this ritual you're going to be doing, it's going to give you results within seven days if it doesn't work within seven days it means it it means it's not effective it means they did not accept your ritual why did i start teaching you guys this this is not the first neither is it the second nor the third that i'm having this kind of cases brought to my table and i'll be like okay after everything after everything it will be revealed that it's an oath of life that one has taken in his or her previous life that is affecting the person in this recent life. So I'm going to be teaching you today how to bring down their anger and retake this oath by yourself. You do not need anyone to do this one for you. The only way you will need me to do it for you is if where you are, you cannot get the materials for it, the items for it, then it means that you need my help. Remember that the oath of life can affect another area of your life. So many people are not giving birth to their own children today because of the oath they took in their previous lives. I told you guys in this channel that your oath of life can be can it can it can affect you it can make you rich it can make you poor it can make you to have your own children it can make you to become barren it can make people to hate you this is why sometimes in your consultation you are told that you have ocho some of these ocho is not really ocho is negative energy ocho is like a curse it's like a curse. Some of these curses that we are talking about is not necessarily because you have committed something recently, but we are talking about the previous life that you lived. Remember that it is the, soul, the same soul that keeps reincarnating into different body. Okay? So whatever it is that you've done in the previous life will still be come with another with we we'll still come with you if you're coming on an another earthly mission this is why it has effect on you and i'm here to tell you exactly what to do about it do not panic some of you took the oath that when you come again you are not going to get married that is why you have not gotten married today some of you took the oath that when you are coming again you will be poor you are not going to be rich Maybe because you were rich in your previous life and you were seeing, you know, um, fake people, fake, fake people come, come, you know, fake people keep coming to you. And all of a sudden you just decide, oh, I'm coming again. I will not be rich. Or maybe you are a woman. All right. In your previous life. And because the man that married you maltreated you so much. And you'll be like, oh, marriage is calm. I will never get married again when, I, when I'm coming again. Or you will say that, well, I'm coming again, I'm going to be a man. And I'm going to make women to suffer. A lot of women are living today and they are being affected because of what happened to them in their previous lives. Okay? You will see a woman maltreating a man, maltreating men. Whenever men come around, she hates men automatically. Some women that are into lesbianism today is because of the oath that they took in their previous lives. Sometimes it is not evil spirit. Sometimes it's the oath that you took and your realms are holding it very tight for you. 
when I talk about giving to your rings, you can never go wrong giving to your rings. Your rings are wonderful. Do you know that in their own world, they are absolutely supporting you. They are holding your word for you. They are making things to be well for you. Some of you, when the person now gets married, any man, any woman that comes across the person, the person will be like, I'm not... Do you know that some women that are into lesbianism today, into homosexuality today, some men, it's because of the oath they took in their previous lives. This is something that you cannot control anymore, except you go and retake that oath. There are women that cannot stay under men. They are so stubborn spiritually. They are too stubborn that they cannot, if a man tells them A, they must, they must say it's not A, they will do the opposite. Simply because they want to prove the man wrong. Simply because they feel that men have nothing to offer to them. Simply because they feel that men are never, that men, you know, they don't see men as anything. So they prefer to do women. I want to tell you what to do. This is an egg, all right? But I would want you to use the native egg. My, I ran out of native egg, but I'm just using this to show you that it is an egg that you need. One native egg. Three cotyledonous cola nuts, three petals, cola nuts, three petals, okay? Three. drink you can use the smallest hot drink ever this one is the one i have so what i would do is there is a small container if i'm the one that is doing it for you there is a small container what i do is to pour it inside the container and take it to where i'm going to this is water but please what i need is sachet water if you can get sachet water where you are it's perfect use it for this ritual what do you do Go and locate a bush, but make sure that you can recognize where you are the, at the spot where you are doing this ritual. Go and get a bush. Do you know that rams can make people keep promise, promise and fail? They'll be promising you they will not fulfill it because you feel that you are spiritually your rams are very stubborn. There are people that their rams have very stubborn when you finish doing spiritual work they will go and scatter it they will go and refer to the, 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 the oath you took the oath you took previously they will go and refer to it and use it to be you know to be dealing with you spiritually so you get the drink right the hot drink make sure that it is pure white like not colored right that's clear drink okay yes proceed to the bush that I told you about proceed to the bush okay yes now when you get to the bush use this egg and cleanse your body use it to state that you are bringing down the anger of your rings the anger of your rings that's the first thing you have to do whatever it is that you have done to them that is making them to attract you negative things attract you curses remembering the things you said in your previous lives you are bringing down their anger and you want them to remain calm and not make everything difficult for you after saying it take it you know all over your body use it to cleanse yourself after cleansing yourself you go to one side and break the egg you know, you break the egg. Do not allow the liquid that comes out of this egg to touch your body. So when you are done breaking it, you take that your sachet of water, you open it and start pouring it on top of the egg that you have broken on the, on the ground. You see that whatever it is, their anger, you are bringing it down. You are making their anger to be calm. You are making them to be at peace with you. Whatever you want to do, do it but you can never be separated from your realm your realm is like your shadow quit being deceived people that keep telling you lying to you giving you all sorts of lies you can you can separate from your realms you can do this it is a lie 
separate from them and see negative things worse than you have been experiencing they will come and triple the problems for you all right rams can make it to be aggressive to be always to be you know they will make it to be all any, any little thing you will just get angry you understand any little thing you will get angry you don't have tolerance you don't tolerate your fellow human being rams can cause it rams can cause it maybe in your previous life you were so quiet people were people were did you know people were cheating on you people were dealing with you so you took an oath you talked it you said it out of you know spoken words is what they hold for you you said it oh in my next life i'm going to be very active i'm going to be so you know so active and so mean they will hold it for you that is why when you're coming again you become you become very strong very active all right so you pour it after pouring it on it after pouring it on it you now get your cola nut and start speaking S start praying all the blessings you want when you say something let it be the way you are saying it if you have an agreement with someone let the person keep to their own part of the agreement let your realms quit scattering things for you let them attract you blessings let them not you know let them not start let them not be bringing you negativities anymore after saying it you break the color knot when you break the color knot it is going to be three you break bring the heads the heads of the color knot and join it like this and drop it on that particular bush set it to be facing the heads to be facing each other three of it all right three of it the heads make sure that you say all the blessings all the things you want all the things that are going wrong in your life that you do not need anymore make sure you state it using the color knot even if you are the type of person that no man wants whenever you have a relationship they will scatter it you mention it that you don't want such thing to be happening that whatever it is that you said in your previous life you did not say it again you are making you are retaking this oath remember to say that you are retaking the oath using the cola knot whatever it is that you said in your previous life is not going to be in your previous life is not going to be effective anymore you are retaking this oath you want the oath you want the oath to be retaken because you want to because you do not like what is what is happening in your present life and you want to have you, have, you want to become turned into a new person so that you will be attracting good things to yourself after saying it that is where you will set when you will set the color knot on the ground on the floor make sure that you 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 mark the place you're going to be keeping it then you get your drink all right and open it remember to buy these small small ones that are sell hundred naira small small um drinks you open it all right and start pouring it on top of that um on top of that color knot that is on the ground and start repeating the same prayers that you have prayed that whatever oath you took that is affecting you in your in, in your present life that you are retaking it you are making it not to be effective again you did not say it again let it not become effective in your life again starting from now after everything you pour it on that um you pour everything empty the uh, the, the container on top of the color knot right when you are done just mark where it is you turn your back and go from time to time you come come back there and check if a grass falls on it if grasses falls on it it means that the oath has been retaken but if there is no grass that drop on it within seven days it means that they rejected your prayers therefore you need a spiritualist to go further for you all right to go further for you so that the oath will be retaken permanently okay make sure that you do it the proper way so that you will not it will not affect you in any way once you are done you turn back and start going home immediately okay guys thank you very much for watching god bless you and um see you guys in my next one Bye-bye.